And welcome back to this week's episode of the Bobby and Renee Show. Yes, welcome everyone. So as you know, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. the men won that, right? Yes, it says, it says victory, victory is mine. He just want to rub it on in, whatever. So, so this, I think this topic today is not really a men versus women. It's mm-hmm. just more or less. Us versus us. Yeah. What What's your, your opinion on this? The question is, why did I get married? What made you get married? What made me get married? See, for real, for real, I was tired of being being a player. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a player, but I crush a lot. <laughs> so I just stopped doing. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get married. So I stopped. You know what I'm saying? Stop being a player. Okay, Biggie. What? Okay, listen. What? What's the real reason? That's why the real you reason. Got- I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a player, but I crush a lot. And I figured, you know what? Let me just get out the streets real quick. You know what I'm saying? And that was 15 years ago. I'm not in the streets no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. You sticking to it? <laughs> What's your answer? He's such a fibber. <laughs> so first of all, uh-huh. I wasn't even looking to get married. You okay, this is my second marriage. Ooh. I was not looking to get remarried. I said I am not marrying ever again. Mm-hmm. This is it. Nope. Mm-mm. That was my take on it. I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> and then my mommy mm-hmm. and my cousin Sheila. Mm-hmm. Came to Love them both. a play. Yep, a play that I di- I co-directed and co-starred in, mm-hmm. and Bobby was there. Yep, I was there. And for some reason, my mom was tuned in so much to him, and I'm like, "What made you, out of all the men in the audience, what made you say that this is the particular oh, one no, wait. What do you mean that all liked the men me?" In the audience? Yeah, Man. because because I'm like, it's, it was a bunch of men in the audience, but she she never heard me talking about you. She never anything like that. I mean, we wasn't even talking. Were you talking about other men? No. And she knew I didn't want to get remarried, but my mom was like, she was like, okay. that man like you. I mean, he was cool. I was like, what? Was I was cool. like, he was, cool. he was cool. And she was like, yeah, he he likes you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mommy, I was like, I don't want to get remarried. You already know this. Her and my cousin, they sat there, had a long talk with me that night. Uh-huh. And I was like, whatever. You know, if it happens, it happens. You know, if, we, if he asks me out, whatever. You know, I'm not getting married. And then... Mm-hmm. When we did finally start having a conversation, mm-hmm. I found like I found out he was a single parent. Oh, so that's the only reason you married him? I was, no, parent? because uh. the, that almost ran me away. Because I, I used to didn't like I did not date men with children. That's so sexist. It is. And although I had a child myself that was very sexist, and I racist. had to check myself on that. But I was like, I'm not dating no man with kids. Let alone, let alone he's a single father at that. Uh, I, uh-uh. I mean, I was a single father. And it was little kids. It wasn't like, you know, they were almost adults. These were little children. Yep. And, and then, I had five of them, too. And then mm-hmm. we became friends. Oh, friend before lovers. And then we became business partners. Mm-hmm. And then I became a babysitter. For his, but, hold his on, you, you're kids. telling the story. Why did you get married? And then I'm getting okay, to that. Right, Can I get to that? Because okay. mine wasn't straightforward because I didn't want to be a player no more. <laughs> and then okay. I fell in love with the children. Oh. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Yeah. I might be able to do this. <laughs> what? And then we started getting serious. Uh-huh. And then what? How many months after we really got into a relationship, you asked me to marry you? Like five I don't, months? I don't remember. Five don't, or six months remember. later, he asked me to marry him. First, he asked my son. And I thought that was amazing for I him mean, to do that. Why not? You're supposed to. He was, then, he was, first of all, he was the man of your life at the time. Yes, he was. So, And then I was like, what? married. Mm-hmm. Do I see myself getting married again? And you did. And then I was like. If I'm gonna marry anybody, you gonna marry me? I'm gonna marry my best friend. Oh yeah! And that's how that happened. So you, so you, you got married because I was your best friend. Because you were my best friend, I loved you. I loved the children, and I felt as though it was something that we can grow together. But you know, you could have saved like two minutes and just went straight. To no, that. I just wanted to tell okay. my story because <laughs> you said you didn't want you, you, you was a player and, and you crushed a lot and all this other I'm stuff just saying. and all that mess. <laughs> so what's your real reason that you got married? Because I liked you. I liked you a lot. And I thought that if I wanted to be in this business, film business that we're in, I wanted to be in the business with somebody who I felt was my equal. Mm. And I felt that you were my equal and you were cute and sexy. Mm-hmm. You know, you had a nice mm-hmm. booty. Mm-hmm. No, so, I, 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 you know, 
it, it is something that happened, you know. Mm -hmm. The heart want what the heart wants, and that would happen. So that's why but, I got married. But knowing that after only five months, the sex was good for five but months. First of, all, first of all, first of all, we ain't talking about the it sex. It was good. No, it was really good. We ain't talking about that. I okay. didn't. I didn't do anything until we got married. Okay, so let's just put that disclaimer out there. Okay, she lied her ass off. <laughs> I you do not buy the milk without until, testing until the cow without married. testing the milk. Listen. I'm just saying. You do not buy a cow gonna, without testing is, the milk. This is my story and I'm sticking to it. Do not lie. <laughs> do not lie. <laughs> this is my story do and I'm sticking lie. to it. Look, you, look. We didn't do anything until we got married. We were doing stuff when I had a girlfriend. <laughs> first of all, first of all, no, we wasn't. Yes, no, we, we were. were not. Because I was like, you had a girlfriend. I was like, I'm not kicking it with you until she's out of the we picture. We had already had stuff together before then. You was a lie. Unless you lied, you lied to me then. No, I didn't lie to you then because yes, you, you came did. to my job. And, but she wasn't with you at that no, time. No, we were still, we were still going to process. We didn't get to become a couple until she left because my girl, ex girlfriend was staying with me. And she, but time she pulled her job with, I called her and said, "Hey, my girlfriend gone." So, but we had already kicked it before then. We ain't kicked nothing. Yes, we, we did. That's a lie. So, and the truth ain't so in you. So you broke up an unhappy home. Oh, you will not, not put that on me. What, you would not, he will not put that on me. That's a lie. Right. And it, um, it was unhappy. Tell the truth and shame the devil. It was that unhappy. That is a lie. That was, is a lie. That is un, a lie. No, it was an unhappy home. And you broke it up. <laughs> no, I did not. Yes, did. No, I did not. You said that y'all was already on the outs, right? That y'all was, <laughs> that, 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 that it was over and she was looking for a place and all this other stuff. And then we started kind of talking, but I did not do anything with him until after she was gone whatever do it ever so the reason you got married is because you felt as though you needed an equal partner yeah i want an equal partner in, in this business did you love me at that time of course i loved you were you in love with me at that time still in love with you to this day oh exactly so that's why i wanted to get married i want to be i want to be with somebody who that i was in love with but like my wife said in her her reasoning i want, I want to be in love with my best friend that's right so and since i'm not gay she's next thing <laughs> What? Really? No, I'm not gay, so you're my best friend. So, oh, I mean, because I could have had a male best friend, right? I could have okay. a male best friend, but you know, you're my female best friend, so I married you instead, right? Because I'm not gay. Thank you for clarifying that. Hey, I just want to make sure, and not to get, I'm not homophobic. I have plenty of gay friends. Oh, that's how. You know, <laughs> just like when 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 our cousins say. I have plenty, plenty of black, black friends. friends. Yes. That's exactly, exactly what that sounds like. That's what but, that's what that but sounds I, like. I also have, but y'all know. But I have children who are also LGBTQ. That's well, right. So and I so, love them just as much. That's right. All right. So that is how why we got married. If you are a married couple out there, why did you get married? And let us know in the comments so we can judge you. <laughs> can <laughs> judge can they judge us right now? I don't know they judge us. <laughs> So anyway, that's how we're going to end this comment, this show right here. So leave your comments in the, down below and let us know. Yes. Why did you get married? Why did you get married? All right. So we're going to end this show how we do all of our shows. One, two, three, and peace. peace.